The ventral tegmental area and motivation and emotion. Our motivational and emotional lives are processed by underlying neurophysiological processes which activate specific neural pathways, largely involving the brain's reward circuit. So how does specific neural action facilitate motivated behavior? How is behavior reinforced by it? And can we improve our motivational and emotional lives using insights from neuroscience and psychology? The ventral tegmental area, or the VTA, is a complex midbrain neuroanatomical region. It is a heterogenic structure comprised of several types of neurons, however the largest proportion of them are dopaminergic neurons. They produce and release the excitatory neurotransmitter dopamine, which is involved in associative learning of reward and aversion predictive errors. The brain has a dopamine-based reward circuit comprised of several pathways. The VTA is most strongly associated with the mesocortical limbic dopamine pathway, where projections from the VTA extend to several cortical and limbic structures, such as the nucleus accumbens in the ventral striatum and the prefrontal cortex. The VTA regulates stimulus-specific reinforcement and motivation, and this output modulates the whole brain-based reward circuit, which results in associative learning. By activating the mesocortical limbic pathway, the brain might process actual or perceived rewards with the release of dopamine and stimulate behavioral action which aims to satisfy that motive. Therefore, behavior is motivated by rewarding or punishing antecedents and consequences. The associative reward generates feelings of pleasure, which in turn motivate us to engage in the behavior which first produced the hedonic sensation in order to replicate the effects over and over again. Studies have shown that the dopaminergic projections from the VTA are released into the nucleus accumbens, which is in turn activated when pleasure or liking is experienced. Due to the motivational importance of emotions, they are able to modify the subjective value of certain stimuli as to promote the formation of associations between the stimulus and external behavior. The formation of emotional associations is supported by research, which has found that the functional activity between the VTA and the prefrontal cortex substantially increased during cognitive regulation processes, as well that the aversive prediction errors modulated by employing self-regulatory strategies are related to phasic firing of dopaminergic neurons in the VTA. When you engage in something which stimulates dopamine release, the presence of dopamine then motivates you to do the same thing over and over as to keep feeling its effects. If we understand the mechanisms by which we regulate the experience of aversive emotions, we can use that knowledge to increase our productivity and emotional stability. In terms of self-help strategies, understanding the dopaminergic system can help us improve our motivation towards everyday productive behaviors simply by intentionally adding some rewarding consequences to them or by stimulating pleasurable experiences. Finally, it could be useful to employ emotional self-regulation techniques to deal with the stressors which impact our behavior.